here with Jason Matashek, the business manager and test manager of Arion Corporation. So, Jason, uh, what technology are we showing off today? Uh, we are here showing the Arion supersonic business jet, which features a natural laminar flow wing design, which enables a much more efficient supersonic flight than a swept wing aircraft design. So what's going to be the top speed, and what will that translate to in uh, time savings, say, if you're crossing the Atlantic? Its top speed is Mach 1.6. Its uh, cruise speed will be more like Mach 1.5, and that translates into about a 40% uh, time savings uh, compared to a regular aircraft uh, transatlantic mission. Thinking about the commercial supersonic market, uh, I think a lot of people are going to be reminded of the Concorde. Can you make some comparisons to what this is going to be like? I think it'll be similar in, in the time savings. Uh, you know, you're certainly you're looking at uh, traveling about twice as fast as what uh, current aircraft do. Um, the difference is obviously the Concorde was a 100-passenger airliner, and this is an 8 to 10-passenger business jet. We don't fly quite as fast as the Concorde, but our efficiency is, is much, much higher. That's why we're you know, a, a much smaller aircraft than what the Concorde was and have, and have better range. Well, it sounds great. Uh, when does flight testing begin? We're in uh, preliminary design mode. We're uh, sort of optimizing the, the aerodynamics of the airplane, doing system studies, and uh, you know, getting it ready to a more uh, detailed design launch. When do you expect this to reach the consumer market? Let's say if things go to plan, it'll be certified in about 2021. It's a little early to say. I'm sure it'll be you know, more than 100 million. I know a lot of other experimental aviation companies are taking investment. Up. Are you guys doing the same thing? We actually have a significant vest already and have had for some time. We're putting together several teams, the, the, the group of uh, Tier 1 and, and OEM uh, manufacturers and suppliers that are going to uh, design and certify this aircraft, and then also um, you know, early letter of intent holders and some additional financing.